Hello, I'm Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on the CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Module 1 Introduction to Hacking Section Threat Modeling. Threat Modeling This is a process by which potential threats can be identified, enumerated, and prioritized, all from the hypothetical attacker's point of view. The purpose of threat modeling is to provide defenders with a systematic analysis of the most likely attack vectors and the assets most desired by an attacker. Threat modeling helps in identifying the high value assets, assets vulnerable to attack, possible tracking of attack vectors. There are four well known methods of threat modeling. They are Stride, Pasta, Trike, Vast. Threat Modeling Stride Stride Methodology It's an approach to the threat modeling that was introduced by Microsoft way back in 1999, providing a mnemonic for the developers to find threats to our products. Stride Patterns and Practices Asset Entry Point were amongst the threat modeling approaches developed and published by the Microsoft. STRIDE is not an acronym but Microsoft's methodology for threat modeling. Threat modeling PASTA Process for attack simulation and threat analysis. This is a seven step risk centric methodology. It provides a seven step process for aligning business objectives and technical requirements taking into account compliance issues and business analysis. The intent of the method is to provide a dynamic threat identification, enumeration and scoring process. This methodology is intended to provide an attacker centric view of the application threat modeling trike. Trike methodology is using threat models as a risk management tool. Within this framework, threat models are used to satisfy the security auditing process. Threat models are based on a requirement model. The requirements model establishes the stakeholder defined acceptable level of risk assigned to each asset class. Analysis of the requirements model yields a threat model from which threats are enumerated and assigned risk values. The completed threat model is used to construct a threat model based on asset, roles, actions, and calculated risk exposure. Threat Modeling VAST VAST is Visual, Agile, and Simple Threat Modeling. The underlying principle of this methodology is the necessity of scaling the threat modeling process across the infrastructure and the entire SDLC and integrating it into Agile software development methodology. The methodology seeks to provide actionable outputs for the various stakeholders that is application architects, developers, cyber security personnel and senior executives. The methodology provides a unique application and infrastructure visualization scheme such that the creation and use of the threat models do not require any specific security SME that is subject matter expert. Threat Modeling Tools There are five tools available for organizational threat modeling. Microsoft's Free Threat Modeling Tool This utilizes Microsoft's threat modeling methodology. This is DFD based and identifies threats based on Stride Threat Classification C scheme. My App Security is Threat Modeler. This is the first commercially available threat modeling tool. This is based on VAST methodology. Areas Risk This offers both community and commercial version of the tool. 4 is Security Cat. This is commercial threat modeling tool. SD Elements by Security Compass. This has automated threat modeling capabilities. Microsoft Threat Modeling Tool 2016. This tool helps in finding threats in the design phase of the software projects. It's available as a free download from the Microsoft Download Center. 
This release simplifies working with the threads and provides a new editor for defining your own threads. This tool has several improvements such as new thread grid, template editor and migrating existing DFTs, data flow diagrams. Here is the link for the Microsoft Threat Modeling tool. So these are the details and system requirements and you have the instructions here for installing. Explore this. My App Securities Threat Modeler. This is the first commercially available tool and this utilizes VASP methodology and is PFD based and identifies threats based on customizable comprehensive threat library. Here is the website for Threat Modeler. You may explore this site for more information. Areas Risk This offers both community and commercial version of the tool. This is the website for the Areas Risk Threat Modeling tool. You please explore this site for more information. You have a community edition that is free to download and uh, do the testing. Four Cities Security CAD. This offers commercial threat modeling tool. This is Four Cities website. You can download the community version of Security CAD cyber threat modeling and risk management tool and you can explore this site for more information thanks for watching